show to Rainless is here. Hello everyone, and today for my Beyblade show, I'm taking a look at the Beyblade Burst Turbo Switch Strike Shelter Regulus. This is an attack type Beyblade. And before I continue, I'd like to give a special thanks to my inside source, because without their help, I wouldn't be able to actually get this bay. So, really cool. So this is our only other variation of Shelter Regulus. This isn't some elemental skin in the app. Really cool, the parts are six and destroy. And I'm really excited to take a look at this. Uh, Turbo Switch Strike has been, like, really not disappointing at all. It's been really good. So, I'm assuming the same thing. Well, I was comparing it to the original Shelter Regulus released and see which layer is actually better. I'm really excited to take a look at this. I mean, look at how the package looks. Crazy, right? Awesome. So, taking a look at the back, we have, you know, the gimmicks for Shelter Regulus, retractable attack blades, got a 6 in attack, 2 for burst, 3 for defense, 5 for weight, 5 for agility, 2 for stamina. Right rotating. Now, let's actually take a look at this. Like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited. So we already have Shelter Regulus. We have got our lair, which looks amazing. Nice blend of colors with the yellow, the gray, and the red. And obviously doing a comparison to the original one. I think they did a super good job. Obviously, we already know the Switch Strike gimmick for this one. Six is not really that bad of a forge disc that they put. And Destroy is actually pretty good. I have not seen any repeated Destroys, like... It's been the original Nightmare Longiness. It's been, let me think, there's the gold Nightmare Longiness. I think those are the only two occasions where we've seen like an actual variation to destroy. And I think it's good that Hasbro is actually giving us a lot more options now than ever. But I actually have my two other Longinesses I just want to show off. These are the other destroy. So we got like a blue one, a gold one, and then after finding like a gray one. So let's actually uh, see the teeth on this one. So the teeth, let me actually try it out. Pretty, uh, teeth. The slopes, I mean. Ah, the slopes. It's, uh, it's decent. Not really, it's pretty pretty decent, actually. Not that bad at all. Obviously, we got the original Shelter Regulus. I think, uh, really not that bad. I think uh, it's probably on par, at least, uh, maybe even better. Let me actually try it on the original Shelter Regulus stock. Yeah. Not bad, I would say on par, it's not really like less when I'm feeling it. So, really cool that they actually did make an attack variation, this Shelter Regulus. Um, they usually always do like a rule of tool. What I mean by that is they'll always do like a second variation no matter what of a switch strike. So, this is that second variation of Regulus. And I'm loving it. I think Hasbro's doing a crazy good job with the uh, Turbo Switch Strike. And honestly, like no complaints here. I love the colors, I think the stock is pretty good, and we get another destroy too, which is very, very good. And we don't, oh, the only other destroy, okay, if we're counting Vice Leopard, I guess that's another destroy, but like, a main destroy, because now we have, what is that, three options. So, what I'm really curious about too, is to see what else they're gonna do, because there's the Blast uh, Genius uh, one, which is like gold, and I'm, I really wanna see what else they're gonna do, because I'm, I'm curious. Uh, you can actually tell me in the comment section below what base you think they'll do another variation for. I think they've done almost a variation for every single Switch Strike. The only other one, which might be a possibility, might be Noctimus, because I don't think Noctimus ever got another variation for it. So maybe if we're lucky. But what I want to do now is do a test launch, and then after do a few battles. Alright, let's do a test launch. <laughs> Not bad, and looks really nice when it's spinning. So, let us do a battle against the original Regulus, but before actually that, quick little match I just want to do. This is against Archer Hercules. Seems I've been forsaken. That was, that was, that was, what? That was, that was really quick. Didn't, didn't really expect that, actually. I mean, I mean okay. All right, Arts of Hercules, way to go. I'm not right. Next up, let us try Wyvern. So now, let us get Regulus. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to tilt launch next time. 
actually done some live run. Some pretty well. Ah, there we go. Burst finish. Lost to Hercules. I'm a little bummed out, but maybe if I do sequel against all turbo, maybe he'll beat it again. So next up, let us do. Let me see. Who do we have? Let's do the original Regulus. It's gonna hit it or yeah, there we go. Come on. Alright, not bad, not bad. Slopes moved a tiny bit. Our next match will be against Nightmare Longinus, which is always one I really hate to launch. It gets really annoying just to put it on the launcher, but uh, let's see if I can get it. Okay, next up, let us do Noctimus. So overall, my opinion is it's, it's pretty all right. I really got like no complaints really. All right, let's try to do Achilles A4 next. I have a few questions. I just have a, I just have a few questions on that. What? Uh, let's try that again. That's a... Uh, it's a bit questionable right there, bud. You want to answer for something, Regulus, or so uh, what's going on here, buddy? Should have no problem with Achilles A4. It's like the weakest one. That was very like threw me off a bit. Maybe we just got lucky one round. I don't know. So far, even that bad on Regulus. Okay. Next up, Vice Leopard. Vice Leopard, come on. And yeah, so beat Vice Leopard. We got to the middle though with his clicks. Whatever, I'll take it. That is a burst finish. Let's actually try that again with Genesis Valtriac. Interesting. It got to the middle, and then after Valtrek barely moved. So let's try against the new Zutron now. Okay. We got one more match, and then after I think this bay is gonna probably be put to rest. Let us try it against uh, Revive Phoenix. So got pretty mixed thoughts on it. I mean, it's not really that bad says that as it's lost almost every match. Uh, is it worth a pickup? I would say it's like maybe an eight. Uh, I'd give it an eight. Not really all that crazy. Uh, you do get another option for destroy and if you never got regulus, pretty good deal. It's not really that disappointing overall, just it's not really that disappointing, just a little bit like I don't know what happened in those few rounds. Uh, slopes are decent, color looks really nice, and like I said before, Hasbro's Switch Strike, especially for Turbo, has been stellar. Honestly, like there's barely any complaints I can really make. 
I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. I, at the very least, if you don't really care for the lair, you at least get destroyed if you never got destroyed before. And I think that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's try to pass our like goal of a thousand likes. Make sure to comment what battles you want to see. Make sure you want to comment, I guess, uh, your thoughts on the band or whatever videos you want to see. And if you are a true viewer, you will know that my nickname for this bay is going to be the Tomato Lion. So there you go. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and have an awesome and amazing day.